Hey everybody and welcome back to Open and Shut Reviews. My name is Ken and today I want to talk to you a little bit about Monteverde inks. I have never used Monteverde ink, but when I got my last pen, which was the Matte Black and Rainbow Conklin Duragraph, that purchase came with a free bottle of Monteverde ink. So I I got the ink <laughs> and just came with the, the package. And if you're interested at all in my review of the Conklin Matte Black Rainbow Trim Duragraph, I will link to it. I'll put something on the screen somewhere so you can click on it and go watch that because it's a really neat pen. I really do enjoy it. I have to say I was a little uh, afraid of the Monteverde inks because of all the stuff I've seen online with people who have found their inks to contain mold or bacteria. It smells bad and it's just not good. And it's been going on for, for quite a while uh, with Monteverde inks, a couple of years. And of course, um, I, you know, I smelled it. I opened up the bottle of ink and actually took a sniff and it didn't smell like anything. So that's, that's good. I think I got a, a good batch of said ink. But yeah, I was definitely a little, little apprehensive about, uh, about it. So the ink I'm using today is uh, the uh, Monteverde Sapphire ink. I used it in two of my favorite pens right now. That's the Matte Black Conklin Duragraph with the Medium Yovo Nib. And the Conklin Duragraph, uh, the red one, has a non-stock nib in it. I put a 0.6 stub nib that I had purchased from Nemesine back when they were still around. They're no longer in business, but their sister company, Birmingham Pens, you can buy those uh, types of stub nibs there and then they fit most of the size six nib pens that you can, you can find around. <laughs> so anyway, I put the ink in both those pens and I tested it on Clairefontaine Triumph and the uh, Tomoe River. And I have to say, it's a, it's a pretty decent ink. Um, it definitely looks more purple than I was expecting. With a name like Sapphire, I guess I was expecting more of a blue tint. And uh, it was fine, as you can see on here. And there's really no ghosting on, on either paper, really, on the Clara Triumph or the, uh, the Tomoe River. I mean, the Tomoe River is pretty thin, so you're, you're always going to have more ghosting on it compared to the thicker papers that you can use. It's a, it's a nice ink. It flowed really well. I didn't really have any hard starts in either pen. I just wasn't thrilled with the ink. I don't know, I'm not, uh, I like my inks to either have sheening properties or shading properties. And this has neither. It's just kind of a nice looking purplish blue ink. So, I mean, if you're into that, it's probably going to be a, a fun ink for you. Not for me, but a, a decent ink dries well, so uh, dries fast. So if you're a left-hander like I am, it's a good ink for you in that respect. Doesn't feather, doesn't doesn't do anything untoward, and, and if you're lucky and you get one of the, the good bottles, it doesn't smell, and, and hopefully it won't go bad. I'll keep checking on it in the coming days and weeks just to, just to see what happens, but I'm not going to complain too much. It was a free ink sample that came with the purchase, so and it got me to try something new that uh, otherwise I would never have thought to buy for myself. So that's it. Really short one today. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you like these types of reviews, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe while you're here. Please leave a comment. Nothing does more to fight the YouTube algorithm than liking a video and then leaving a comment down below. So please do that. You can also follow me over on social media at uh, Facebook and uh, Instagram. I'll put the little thingies up on the screen so you can Take a look at them. And I'll also link to my review of the Conklin Duragraph Matte Black with Rainbow Trim. Love that pen. Really nice pen. Anyways, that's it. Again, thank you so much for being here. Until next time, I'm Ken. You take care and enjoy your pens.